have part two of this page that we did yesterday. Hello everyone, I'm hoping you're doing well. I'm here alone, so bear with me. I'm trying to learn and get better at doing this. But if you saw my paper at my desk, you would freak out at how much stuff one person can have to play with. So let's take a look at all of this craziness. And let me see if I can get uh, going here. And here we are. And let's make sure that we are on our chat line. I'm super happy that everybody is with me. And thank you so much. Hello, how is everyone doing today? Hello, Joan, how are you? I am trying to fix my uh, little chat box. Give me a little bit of itty bitty time. Oh, hi, Joan, how are you? Okay, so here's the trick. I have to figure out how to get this to my desktop so that you can see what I'm doing here, okay? So let me move this around. Hold on tight, we're moving a little bit. And let's see, that looks like that's upside down maybe. This way, let's look. If I put this right here, let's see if that's in the right spot. Hello, how's everybody doing today? I told you my desk was a mess. I have a lot of things going on here. Okay, I think we have the orientation correct. That is the hardest thing I think for me to figure out. Uh, I will get better, I promise. And let's move my little chat box so that you can see everybody. I can hear, hello, Mabel. Hi, Joy. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. I am so thrilled to be here with everybody. And hello, Raylene. How are you? And Donna. Hey, Donna. I am planning such fabulous things for our craft retreat, Crop at Home 3 in Texas. It is going to be Awesome. I'm calling it Fabulous 14 in Texas, but we don't have 14 people yet. But there's hope. There's hope. Somebody will come and join us. I am sure. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Anna. How are you? Anna, my dear friend in Houston, how are you doing? Hello, Mabel. How are you? Okay, so let's do a little touch up of what we did yesterday. This is, I finished it up last night and I added a little tiny cute little tea bag. Look at this cute little tea bag right here. And I added, yes, a little piece of floss to the end of it so that it would kind of hang and interact. A little gold and some flowers because of course I have to put flowers on here. Uh, yes, Sonia, I'm just getting started. You're not late at all. I promise. I promise. Hello, Sharon. How are you? Thank you so much all for joining me. I am so excited to be here with you. So I wanted to do something simple to the back of this, right? I always like try to do something really simple to the back of this. So this is my attempt of doing something beautiful. This page is beautiful. Thank you so much, Joan. You can do this. I know you can. We just have to do it slowly and in parts and we, we can attempt to do this. Absolutely. So I'm going to do this side. And what I did is I put a little piece of tape right here on top so that I can remember that that is the top when I go to glue something to the back. I definitely want to put something stable, a little um, chipboard of some sort, because this is real flimsy uh, text white paper. It's the only paper I have, so that's what I'm working with. Um, here is a bunch of paper that I was kind of looking through. Aren't these papers just gorgeous? Look, they're double-sided. These these blues are just gorgeous. Th this is just, hello, Annie. Hello, Annie, how are you? And, uh, oh, look at what I found. I told you guys that I already had Willow and it was 2014, I think. And I went into my scrapbook to uh, look and see where those pages are and I found them. So here are my scrapbook pages from uh, Willow and these are from uh, 2011, but it was in the 2015 book. 
So let me show you. I haven't seen this in, in a while. So it's interesting to see that I'm still doing the same old thing, but I love it. So if you love something and it works for you, then keep it. Don't change what you're doing. You love it, so do it. Yes, absolutely. And then, so I have here on this side, let's look and see what size this is. It looks really tiny. It's half an inch around this little thing here. So I, and it's text weight also. So I must have also not been concerned with that. Here is some fussy cutting. So I was making my own embellishments and popping them up right there. And I put, I must have been in a little glitter mode because there's a little bit of, of glittery stuff on here. And I put one, two, three pictures. And then I think, I don't, I don't think this was a pre-made banner, was it? It's a banner made from the, that is clever. Look at that. It's a banner made from our, where is it? Our, our strip that we started our banner from yesterday. Right here, this banner that's right here is this little one going down. I like that. We might have to uh, steal that trick from, from uh, 2015 again. And then I put a yellow uh, little base and then Arosa is the name of the town that they were in skiing. It's my uh, husband's hometown of Switzerland. So yes, this is just uh, perfect. A little bit of fussy cutting a little banner with the name of where it's at, and here is a rose. And I usually let them write their own journal of what of what they have going on. So uh, there is Nick. I think that was his attempt of uh, snowboarding. I think he's decided he's a skier. Uh, okay, and then here is the back. And this is also a uh, cardstock. And here I did a little fussy cutting with that little Fisker scissor that's the little scalloped one. And then I got it the inside. That's really cute, I like that. And then this little basket here is a basket that I had at a class um, when Debbie, Debbie was teaching Anna Griffin classes at one of the CKUs and I have repeated this a type of basket uh, before Debbie Shoe was her name. And uh, where is that window of this church? Okay, so this church is in my husband's hometown of Cor Grabunden, Switzerland. Uh, this is where uh, my son was born and where he was baptized. And so every time we go back home uh, to visit, we always go back to the same uh, church and take a picture. Here's the entrance of the church. And here's that brown paper. You see that brown paper right here? This is the, the brown paper that went, I'm, I was doing little flip up books. Oh my goodness, this is really funny to see. I, I have not looked at this before. So you flip up the little book. Here is the little church where uh, my husband and I were married and we also had our child baptized here. And you flip it open again. Look at that. And I didn't use, uh, what is it called? I didn't use the heavy duty binding tape at this time. I used a little tiny piece of yarn. This right here is a little tiny piece of yarn that I kind of just decided to, kind of like a little binding of a book. There we go. And I have room for still one more picture or a little journaling. And this closes here. And then this is almost a 12 by 12 uh, page right here. If I'm looking at it, it looks like it's 12 by 12. And then you kind of do these little creases here to bring it in, kind of like one of those, uh, what were those called? Those little uh, paper things that we used to uh, count or something to, I can't remember. And it would probably be good if I had a little magnet here and it would snap in, but I guess I did not have magnets. I had ribbon with wire and a little paper flower. I can see that I was trying to make a little paper flower on this. And there we go, there's our little basket. That was a page I did in 2015, and here is the back. Alrighty, just wanted to show you what we did with Willow way back when. Willow is still very good, and it's, and it's interesting to see that I'm still playing with Willow. Here is another page. I think I did about four pages. 
And okay, so here is a little bit rough and tumble. I like to call it a little bit of grunginess. I think I was going through my grungy stage. You see how this is kind of a little bit torn up. I don't really like to do that that often that now. I kind of, mm, you know, and here's the little pencil frame that we did in one of the creates, or was it scrap, uh, was it crop at home one, uh, Sonia, when we were doing that little, oh, we were doing the little square box and I decided, nope, I'm not doing the square box. I'm doing a, a pencil circle around the frame. Um, anyway, here's a little hat box kind of pin and then some little uh, homemade flowers here, these big fat rosette kind of flowers and a little pin. Uh, this is the walkway to the church. Yes, right? We were doing these little rolls. And I said, I I can't do that. I, I can't do that. I I think I need um I, I think I need to just round it. Yeah, CH2. Yeah, Sonia, I, I hear it. So um and then this is also just a frame right here around. I, I have been doing this gut out frame since whenever uh I don't know when. And then we have this one. And I did like one, two, three, four, and then another little uh, fabric flower underneath and this cute little heart. I've always been like a group them together person for some reason. Okay, and then I flip it over. And this must go with the companion page to the one that had the fussy cutting. Here's more fussy cutting around. So you can see how even if you have just the papers, you can just fussy cut around here. And a little pop-up dot. Those fabulous pop-up dots that Anna Galvan uh, sent me. You love the church, Anna. Yes, I love this church. Uh, it's the, a cathedral from the 1500s. Uh, one of the first cathedrals in uh, Switzerland. One of the oldest uh, ones. Um, and here's my sweet husband and my son. Uh, and it's just a simple little page and a little bit of cutting out. And uh, the journaling should be on the other page. So I wanted to kind of show you that. A little inspiration of Willow that's trying to pretend to be, what do we call her? Uh, I'm trying to think of what I like to call her. Willow trying to pretend to be Canton Blue. Thank you, Raylene. I, yes, my, my pictures, I don't always get pictures first. I usually do pictures second, and I know a lot of people don't uh, agree or, or do that. It's okay. Do what, what works for you. I, I think, you know, and do what works for you and continue with it. Uh, it's your scrapbook, so you do it any way you want to. Okay, so here is what I had to work with. Lots of little things that you guys, um, this is what I ended up with. I had all of these lovely papers to pick, yellows and browns. And I wanted to use some brown because I want to use the brown base here. So I was trying to also bring in some brown and I remember Willow having some woody uh, browns in it. I guess it's called Willow, right? So here we go. And this is gonna be a simple page, right? For the back of the hero page. Uh, this one is one of the ones from, the one that has the crowns, uh, the die that comes with the crowns. Love it. This is the little journaling block. It's a little circle right here that came with this and then I just want to put it right on top because it makes it better right a little a little bit more I'm kind of looking at different journal these little strips here I was kind of thinking I wanted to use these some kind of way and I decided once I started looking how I'm going to put these together I also really like this one kind of that more uh stark squares instead of rounds but since I have this one the brown that is rounded then I said I need to keep need to keep it rounded okay so since I was talking and talking about gutting a page or gutting uh, a, that's like my my go-to I do that with like pretty much everything I do and this one is a little bit small for me I didn't want to make it that small so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna gut one live for you because I think this is something that's going to happen at Crop at Home 3. So we want to start mastering that gutting. You need to be able to do that. It's going to make you nervous to cut out the insides, but we we need to do it anyway. Um, and if I had a ruler, if my, my uh, desk was any messier. Okay, so I want to get, uh, I kind of look at this and I'm thinking I want a 
one and a half inch, one and a half inch going in. And that's how much I want to gut the inside right here. And I absolutely love my uh, oldie and goodie, the Martha Stewart paper cutter. It's one of my favorite. I have it all marked up. And whenever I see it on sale, I go and get it. Or it's, I think it was at Michael's forever. And it, uh, I don't know, I think it must have been on its way out. I don't think she redid one. So I have the spot right here where I have my one and a half mark. So I know where to stop on my ruler. It's hard to see that when uh, the paper is printed right here. So I'm at one and a half here, and then I have to come and get my one and a half marking right here, and you punch in, and then you know where you're going to stop over here at 11, and then one and, a, and one up. So you're going to stop and go all the way down to 10 and a half, and that's going to be your cutting space. Hello, Dale. It's nice to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hi, hi, hi. They, Dale has the most beautiful grandchildren, granddaughters. Oh, they look like little supermodels, Dale. And I'm going back up and going down. And we said we were going to go down till the 10 and a half. Right there. And... And we, you, yeah, you have the the Martha Stewart one also, Dale. I I I love this thing, and I like to have all of my little markings on here. And we want to go all the way down. It is challenging to do when you have a a print because you can't see so well. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going all the way around here. I'm kind of feeling for that little spot that goes in. And that little piece comes out. I think it's the same size. I think I just cut it out the exact same size as what the other one was, wherever the other one thing is. I think maybe I went too, too small again, but we will make it work, right? Look, no, nope, it's bigger. I like that. So we have this right here, okay? I'm going to uh, glue this down on the center part because I like to sometimes come back. You guys know when I'm working on something, I like to come back and put more embellishments or, or if later I decide I want to put a little uh, embellishment to this base, then I can still do that. Okay, so is there a top or a bottom to this? I think this looks good. Or should it be this way? This way. <laughs> I'm going to go for it here because you know what? We're going to cover it up. <laughs> and I'm going to say that's the center. And then what I did is I got some yellow. And I I really like this yellow. And it's definitely going to get covered up. Uh, the blue that's underneath. I'm sorry, Sonia. I know you love that blue. So what I did here is I did four and a half by 12. Because I was thinking if we have... Uh, pictures that are four inches, four by sixes. I want it to be able to get a four inch picture and still have the border of the yellow is what I was doing, right? Yes, I, I you have a guillotine, Barbara. I have one also, but I do this little pokey one. I don't know what it's called uh, more than the others. You, yeah, the Fiskers is a good one also. So here is four and a half by 12, and I'm supposed to be able to put at least two pictures on this. It's kind of like a belly band or something. This is where I want my pictures to be at. And then if we push this over, I went and got this right here and this right here. I got several of them. I was cutting them up. I really wanted to do the gold, but if you do gold, the little backing part is white and I didn't like that. I guess I could sit there and put something else in that little white part, 
but I didn't want to do that either. So we're going to use that gold for something else. And this is the Fancy Cuts and Emboss. And let me show you how I was cutting this one, okay? So this is that strip paper. If I go and turn this into this little ruffle, then I have to make sure that the ruffle seam is going to be, the design here is going to be exactly the same on the continuous one, the next one that comes around. So when you cut this, you want your little seam to be able to blend. And so I went and added it to the vertical part of this. Does that make sense? So that way, every one that I cut is going to match, okay? A belly band that would, yeah, that holds four by sixes. Like what else? Uh, that's just perfect. Uh, I know. Uh, so now I'm going to work on two of these right here. We're going to move this one over. There's the extra two. I knew I had two more because this one was my goof up one. I knew it, I knew it was happening, but I didn't want to stop. I just said, just leave it alone. And I might need hot glue for this. So I'm going to turn on my hot glue. You guys know I don't really like to turn on the hot glue. For whatever reason, it scares me. Somebody told me that, that somebody's uh, craft room burned down with hot glue. Did anybody know that? I think like somebody, like, like um, I don't know. And we're going to move this this way. Yep, so I can glue these two together right here. Maybe like Tim Holtz, is that, can that possibly be true? Or am I imagining things just scaring myself of my hot glue? Right here, okay, you see that? So, wet glue. Yes, uh, the anniversary paper tricks, is it, it's a, uh, it has two types of ruffles or, or the accordion type. And it has, I don't know, like a whole bunch of them. Like, is there like maybe 10 in there? I'll, I'll look, they're probably all over the place right this minute. Okay, so there, I'm having this one there. So you see how I, I, I cut it and blended it on the top portion. So that way it is holding on. Okay. And I have all of my little clothes pins in here because nobody hangs clothes anymore. I mean, I, I do hang some clothes, uh, the, the bedding, but um, right there. If I'm really quiet, can you guys hear my poor little dog snoring? That was him. That's him snoring. He has a rough life, that poor dog. About the crickets burning your craft room. Uh, yeah, I, I guess that is a lot of power for them. Um, we have to make sure that we put glue on both sides of these because you can see that that has to hold on both sides. It's holding it in. And I am using wet glue for this uh, because I'm getting low on my my uh, tape. I need to place an order on tape. I guess I could get some more before I have to place an order, right? We have to start getting ready and... and I think I need to place an order for magnets and I need to place an order for that heavy duty cardstock. I have a Yorkie Chihuahua and he, uh, he thinks uh, he, he acts or he looks like a Yorkie, uh, but he acts like a Chihuahua. And right now he even looks like a Chihuahua because he won't let me brush his hair. Uh, therefore, he had to get his hair kind of like almost shaved down like a Chihuahua. It's, 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 yeah, the, the, the pins for chips. Yes, I, I, I agree. These work awesome for chips. Uh, it, it's a lot more, uh, money saving than what do we have those little plastic ones. And there you go. Okay. So here we have those and this one is still not gluing down. 
perfect. This is Art Glitter Glue inside of a little squeeze bottle that comes from a Scrap Shack Texas dot com or you can get it on Amazon it is a um, 18 gauge and it is called fine line applicator I keep these little things here because sometimes somebody asks me see it says fine line applicator it's yellow I did order the blue one one time it's a 20 gauge and, and I could not make things come out of that. It was just, it was too much. Okay, here is what I have for this one. And this is what I was thinking on this yellow one, is what I was thinking of some kind of way there. Okay, it's gonna have a little motion to it. Right there. Did I put it upside down? Why is it curving on me? Right? Is that it's not my imagination? Look. It's not it's not perfectly straight. Interesting, Martha. So we tear them apart and see what, what happened. Did you guys not tell me to do something? I did it wrong. Here is straight. Here is straight. I bet you Sonia is telling me what I did wrong, right, Sonia? Like this. I think I like that there. So let's fix it. You know what? Because we're probably going to put an embellishment right in this center area. I think that's where I wanted to put that blue little um, journaling block with the gold. I'm just holding them on the edges. This is crafting on the fly. I started playing with this about an hour before you guys came in for me. I have been working on my DIY house all day, uh, but working on uh, staining cabinets. That's what my project was today. And uh, I knew I needed to come and play with this, but I just, you know, you have to do what you have to do. You have to do your, do your chores first before you can play it's just it's just the way it is that looks much better i just had the little twist on it interesting and so i just i want to show as much as i can of this little thing going here so what i'm going to do is on this side we're going to do uh some of the score tape my uh my stained oh the stained stuff is not looking really good i'm kind of warming up to the staining I have uh, some kitchen cabinets that were um, built and my painter's just not getting here. You know, everybody's busy. And so I thought I'm not gonna paint the solid colors. I thought I could paint the, the uh, stained ones. And uh, so I will, I will show you guys. I will show you pictures of all the ugliness and prettiness that is happening in that house. It's just, it's a lot. Um, okay, so what I want to do here is I want to put uh, this down with here. Okay, I'm putting this down to my glass mat because I feel like I'm moving it quite a bit every time I move it. So if I put it right on top like this, that way this will stay down. I love this glass mat. I didn't even know I uh, needed one. And then what were we doing? Fussy cutting, I think, with Anna Griffin. And I said, well, gosh, I, I know that I have these self-healing mats. Uh, and that those are fabulous for fussy cutting. Um, and I pressed too hard. And so I needed something that would really uh, help me not press so hard. So I want the edge of this to be really right on that little peak. And I'm wondering if you guys can even see this. Let me bring this in a little bit more. Okay. And right into this little peak, because I want it as much as I can of this. This is kind of like a big fat belly band with pictures and it's gonna also work as a border. So that's how I'm gonna stay close to this area. And 
right there. Hold that down right there. And, and then I start slowly pulling this part up and press down. And then I want that little bit to be on this side. Yeah, the, the, you can get the fine tip applicator on Amazon. I really like, uh, Amazon is so much faster. I, I, I love my local scrapbook store, uh, Scrap Shack. Um, they actually have a retreat going on, I think, next weekend. Um, regardless, uh, I but Amazon is so fast. So, of course, when I go to the retreats, I will buy as much as I can and support them because they are, we have two stores in our little area and I'm, I'm thrilled. That's, that's really super nice because our stores really uh, need help. Our local privately owned stores. It's yeah. I don't know if anybody has anyone. Oh, I think, I think they're saying that the hot glue guns and, uh, and our crickets, I guess if you have them plugged in all the time, uh, mine's doesn't stay plugged in all the time. Or mine's barely gets turned on. How about I say the truth there. And on this side, I'm going to need a tiny little bit over here because it looks like I didn't, I, I closed this up a little bit too soon. So we're just going to glue it in. Nobody's going to know except for you and me and every, anybody else that's watching, right? And we need this glue on the top, not the bottom. There we go. You see how I kind of just left a little piece out? So here's our fix right there. There's no accidents, no oopsies in scrapbooking. There's just more opportunities for embellishments, right? We're just embellishing. Except for like if we cut somebody's head off or something like that, I guess then we can print it over. So here we are. Okay, how about that? And then I wanted to put this gorgeous little gold on it. You see, that's why I wanted to show as much as this. And this strip is an inch and a half. Okay, an inch and a half or an inch and a quarter. Let me, let me confirm. It is an inch and a quarter. So that's why I wanted to make sure that I got that as big as possible. So I'm also going to use a really skinny one to add that here because it's super intricate cut and I want to make sure it stays put. Yeah, we have a lot of crops in the South Houston area. Um, and uh, the, because there's two stores there. And uh, we have some gatherings also uh, in the Houston area. There's uh, a very large uh, Baptist church and they provide um, scrapbooking. I, I think there's one coming up in, in April. I think I wanna say that's when it's coming up. So I'm trying to aim at half, like right here in the center is where I'm aiming for my little gold right there, okay? Right there. It's the, uh, what is it called? It is called the um, First Baptist. I think it's First Baptist, and of course for us in, in on the west side of Houston, it would be First Baptist West. And I'm gonna add another strip of glue right on top of that same space because this is a very old piece of border and it probably doesn't have very much strength. Uh, and with us doing the heavy duty uh, score tape, we are able to still sneak underneath this little piece. I like to do that because maybe you wanna put your pictures in that spot. So, Okay, so now this is the way I'm doing my picture frame. I'm doing the little dots on the inside 
and we're bringing this down and I wanted just to show a little bit of a dot of gold on top and a little tiny gold on the bottom. I know this is, I think, the uh, dye that you can run through the, what is it, the ribbon. It kind of, yeah, I think you can put the ribbon through it. And, but I didn't want that look for this. I kind of wanted it to be kind of like a picture frame. That's what I'm pretending this is, a little picture frame. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut it right here because that's where the gold finishes, right there. Okay, how about that? So when we're looking at this, we're doing this. It's a big fat border, just like we were talking about, right? This is just a big fat border. You put your pictures on here, you add your gorgeousness to it, and this is gonna go right on top of your um, pictures. Now I love doing something like this also, and you can do a picture just like this. Isn't that gorgeous? So uh, this is just, a embossed piece of gold and then I run it through the flat through without anything and it flattens out so it kind of looks like an old engraved piece of gold and we can just put it right on top if you want to I want to do extra pictures on here so and again what is this supposed to be this is supposed to be a simple page for the back of a different picture so I'm trying to stay on the simple side of things okay so here we have this one and then we have the circle that I wanted to do and then this one and I really think that this uh, needs a little bit more you tell me I always think that something has uh, a, ha, needs a little bit more like this to make it pop make that definition like the gold kind of sneaks underneath there and I feel like that will help it uh, distinguish it a little bit better so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add more gold to it because I like more and more and more and sometimes I add too much and then I'll go back and take it off and I remember what was it uh, Coco Chanel said to always take something off on the way out the door like you know trying to be a little bit more elegant instead of gaudy I think what she was trying to say um, and here I'm going to add this right here I cannot wait till crop at home three. It is going to be so much fun. I am dreaming up all kind of wonderfulness things to, to play with and see. Um, uh, I know Deborah's coming to, to Austin with me and uh, I was thinking that we should have uh, different themes. What do you think about that, Deborah? Is that like over the top? Uh, I spoke to Eve about it, and Eve told me it was not over the top. She said I'm uh, to go for it. So I was thinking of themes for for our uh, playtime. You know, like uh, let's say uh, pizza and pajamas on Saturday night. You know, why not? Okay, so here is our page, and then we're gonna put this one down. And because there's so little, uh, I don't think I want to even do a pop up dot because the back of that page was really uh, thick. Uh, but you can do a pop-up dot if you want. I think that is perfectly okay uh, to pop the whole thing up. And I'm just putting a little bit of gold on it. And I want to uh, not quite glue it to the bottom yet because uh, I think I want to cut this little piece off. I think that that little excess I don't like. <laughs> I love you, Dale. You think it's too gaudy. I I understand. I understand. And then we're going to cut this one right here. <laughs> and cut. So, pizza and PJs. I think that sounds just perfect for like Saturday night after we've been cropping for two days. I think... Uh, pizza and PJs uh, would be awesome and uh, I don't know how it's how but I'm gonna get Annie there I think Annie needs to get to Austin so this is gonna be on the back of this page okay so I'm kind of thinking we need a little bit of an embellishment uh, right next to our little circle here I think we need some little flowers maybe some light blue ones uh, something like this And maybe some gold. 
We used some gold ones yesterday. What else do we have here? Pink ones, a flourish. I love these flourishes. These are some of my favorite. I really love those. Okay, here we go. Yeah, pizza uh, party Saturday night of the crop. I think that's the night that we were supposed to close up the crop, or is it Friday night? Uh, can never be too much uh, on scrapbooking. Uh, yes, I agree, Sharon. Yes, right? I mean, uh, yeah, if it makes us happy, that's that's the important part, right? If it makes us happy, then, then we do what we want to do. I mean... Um, yeah, why not? If it makes us happy, then, then for, yes, please. Everybody should, uh, should be able to, to do what they want to do. And I decided not for those. Okay. I'm thinking that is just perfect for me. I don't want to add any more. Thinking of the, thinking of the dark blue. It'll be too much. You know, this is the back of the other page. We also have to kind of remember that, but I kind of like that right there. And I'm thinking I want to add a, a little pop-up dot to the back of this. And um, where were the pop-up dots from yesterday? They're around here somewhere uh, in a um, in a big, huge pizza box that my sweet friend Anna brought to me. And I decided that I love the two millimeter ones right here I really like the two millimeter ones the three millimeters and, and it doesn't make any sense it's one millimeter I work in millimeters so I know what three to two is three millimeters is perfectly healthy gum tissue and uh, four is not so healthy so yes I I know what it is and I sometimes the uh, the the three and the two millimeters here is sometimes it's not, it's too much for me. Okay, we have this one already glued in. And then this one, I'm going to add uh, a strip here on each side. And this one is going to go right on top. How is everybody doing? I can smell my hot glue gun, but I did not use it. I thought I was going to need it for, for this little strip on top. Okay. And here we are. And we're still trying to do this circle here. So isn't this just a really fun, simple page? It doesn't have very much at all uh, that's, that's more and more and more on it. Uh, this little decoration that we did here, we can easily put this on the top there also. You know, you know what I mean? You can you can double it up if you want it to. But I was thinking this was going to be my simple page. My simple Is this a sticker? I'm not sure. So, we're going to we're going <laughs> to I thought I had already put that down. We're going to sneak this in here. Right there. I don't know. I can't tell sometimes. Uh, blenders for margaritas you think that we're not going to have you don't even need a blender uh the blender this retreat house annie is fully stocked when i was there last time i took a crock pot uh recipe of um it was a soup that i made i i, I love like taco soup and i took it with me and there was a crock pot already there so I'm sure that there's a blender. And you know, uh, the other thing is, uh, there is uh, also, I, I have no problem with uh, margaritas on, on the rocks. And they did have a huge ice machine. So I, yeah, there there will be margaritas present. Because it's also Cinco de Mayo. I mean, I'm not saying that that's why we have Cinco de Mayo. I don't want to sound crazy. But um, it is Friday is Cinco de Mayo. And... Uh, but it might be Canton Blur Day, and we might be acting uh, kind of like little French girls and drinking margaritas at the same time, uh, because 
because I think Canton Blur isn't that French for for what Canton Canton in um hmm, that sounds like German to me for state. I'm gonna go ask my husband. Um, that's what I think. He might be answering. Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, I like these little blue. See the little gold leaves stick out. That is just perfect. And where are we going to do journaling on here? We can have a little journaling block. I saw one of those. I'm going to keep it in this little stack. Sometimes when I do a page and I haven't quite... This is not the same size. That's a bigger one. When I have a, um, so I took the wrong, I took the sticker off, but I'm gluing it to the little plastic bag so that I can use it later. Yeah, I noticed it right when I was putting it down that that was a different size uh, flower and I want it to be symmetrical. There's nothing wrong with using different size flowers for everything, that would be perfect. You will be wearing a Cinco de Mayo hat, Sonia. You crack me up. Okay, yes. And here we go, there. And there was a, a little journaling block somewhere in my life, I saw it here. And I think this would be perfect uh, to tuck in here and put two gorgeous pictures and we can tuck this inside. See how that could be, stay right there. Let's do the green. The green is that temporary type of uh, adhesive and we will leave it alone. Is that not so cute? I think that is working really cute. And when you bring this over, we flip it over and this is not quite finished. Here is where it's finished. And I wanna put it on that so that it kind of helps hold it and make this whole thing more stable because I'm gonna unglue my hot glue gun. Um, yeah, I, it, that, that's, I've, I kinda like, um, I feel weird about journaling. I think scrapbooking is a really private uh, thing and I always like to have uh, my scrapbooking um, journaling private, if that makes any sense. I don't know why, but um, I've always tried to figure out spaces and places to add little secret messages. I'll have a little ribbon on it or something. Uh, and, and then that is usually where I have a little journaling or I try to tell, uh, usually it would be Nick that I'm telling him what we were doing or um, there's uh, something like that in, in our life. Okay, so I'm going to bring this down and I think that looks good right there. A little tail went back in. Okay, and we're kind of pulling this out. This is an old basil paper from something. I have no idea where this basil paper is, uh, what it's called. It's like a dark brown one. And I just thought it would kind of make that brown kind of look like it belongs. So there we have it. And, um, and let's see, I think we need a, a, a little itty bitty something something. We always have a little bow on there, wouldn't that be cute? I was thinking about that when I said I was turning off my hot glue gun, that uh, I still want a little, a little something on my journaling block. I think a little tiny flower and a little tiny lean journal block. And this is on with a uh, temporary adhesive. So I'm still able to lift it up. And hopefully my hot glue gun is still hot. It is, it's working just lovely. So I am going to see you guys again next Thursday. Um, 
I probably will uh, figure something out for Thursday, uh, but probably not Friday also. I, I'm trying to figure out what's going on uh, for the week that's coming up, but it, it might be pretty busy. But we will see you again next Thursday, and let's see what we come up with. Um, I'm really going to try to figure out how we can start doing uh, some Zoom uh, so we can see each other. Because I don't want to be the only one talking. I think we should all get to know each other better and to start doing some Zoom uh, classes or some Zoom um, crops uh, so we can get together and and enjoy each other's company, even if it's through the internet, right? Do you see how that is right there? Oh, that is so darling, 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 darling. And here we are, another border where you can put two pictures. So we have two pictures. We have this little border that goes underneath. We have this one here. It's just all working really cute. I am really happy. Yes, I think it would be a lot of fun, Joan, to kind of get together and do something. I've done it before with other uh, croppers, crafters. Uh, it gets a little crazy, so we will need to make arrangements for uh, monitoring and kind of stuff because uh, uh, we have to kind of figure out the logistics. But I will work on it, and we'll get things going. Uh, <laughs> French girl sounds dangerous. Yes, uh, it does. Uh, French girls uh, drinking margaritas even sounds uh, more dangerous. Hey, Joy, thank you so much. I'm so glad you like the, the page. I think right here we need a, a little uh, title from one of our uh, themes here. I'm not sure what we would put on there, but I'll figure it out. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming by. Please leave me a thumbs up, subscribe. I would really, really love. Sonia, we have to get dressed. We have to get dressed if we do a Zoom and everybody sees each other. Uh, but we don't have to. I guess you can put just your face up and not let everybody see you, I'm thinking. <laughs> The bow is just a perfect little touch, right? It's one of those little mini ones. It's not the great big huge ones. American girls drinking is dangerous also, okay? But we will only be indoors. We are not gonna go outdoors uh, drinking. That is a no-no. Uh, and we will be in uh, Austin. I wish everybody's invited. If you wanna come by just because you're in a different state, you can still come by. Anna is going to be with me. I know Anna Galvan. She's super busy and probably can't be with us, but in spirit, we will all be together. Annie, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. I'm going to see you again next Thursday. Let's see what we have going on. Thank you, everybody, for coming by. And I'm going to try to figure out how to uh, disconnect this. This is what Nick always helps me with this part. Uh, absolutely. Thank you for being here with me. I'm so happy you guys are here with me. Thank you. Bye-bye. I'll see you later. Bye.